Hi Taurus, this is your March 6th through March 12th weekly tarot reading. We'll have five separate spreads in this weekly reading. We'll have a spread on new love, a separate spread on love in an existing relationship or marriage. I'll then do the X spread after that. We'll talk about your work, your business, and your finances. And at the end, we'll see what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please like, share, subscribe, and uh, hit the bell to get notified to support this channel. This first spread is on new love this week. We have the Tower, clarified by the Page of Swords. Then we have the Six of Cups, clarified by the King of Pentacles. We have the Sun. In the potential outcome, we have uh, the Six of Ones with the Ace of Cups and the Star. And we also have the Ten of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a fellow Earth sign, another Taurus Virgo Capricorn. We also have Leo and uh, Aquarius on the table. I usually go with a king or a queen if one or both show up. So we got this king of pentacles. I don't think that's you, Taurus, unless you're dealing with another Taurus. <laughs> right? So yeah, the king of pentacles, clarifying the six of cups, could be a fellow earth sign. Uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or somebody with a lot of earth in their chart. If they're not an earth sign, perhaps this is somebody who is uh, an entrepreneur. They could be wealthy. Uh, they could be somebody who works for a financial institution. And you already know this person. Yes, you do, because uh, the uh, King of Pentacles is clarifying uh, the Six of Cups. This is a card of a soulmate connection, and it's also a card of somebody coming back from the past. I don't think you ever dated this person. This is just somebody from your past, somebody you went to school with, somebody you used to work with, you went to the same uh, preschool, too. <laughs> I don't know. And uh, something about this person coming back or something about them is going to be shocking. It's like, you know, it kind of reminds me of one of those teenage movies I used, I, I saw when I was a teenager myself, you know, when, um, you know, it's a common theme when you go back to your old town where you grew up and you meet somebody and you don't even recognize this person, right? Or this person, you never thought that this person would achieve <laughs> what they achieved. Or they literally changed beyond recognition, <laughs> right? Um, so yeah, the first card that came out is the Tower, which is clarified by the Page of Swords. So the Tower is something that's going to shock you, it's something that's going to overwhelm you, it's something about this person is going to be, you know, very unexpected with the Tower card. Right, the Page of Swords clarifying, and I think it's a message coming from this King of Pentacles, letting you know, hey, I'm in town, or hey, I just uh, found you on social media, let's let's catch up and catch up you will <laughs> yes you will right we have the sun in the middle the sun could be a leo you're dealing with but the sun is the happiest card in the deck so you're going to be shocked you're going to be overwhelmed and uh, when you uh, come back to your senses i think you're going to be really happy with this uh, meeting right the sun always talks about somebody who is uh, uh, joyful, somebody who is loved, and somebody who is on top of the world. Again, the happiest card in the deck. In the potential outcome, we have the Six of Wands with the Ace of Cups and uh, the Star. And we also have the Ten of Cups on the bottom of the deck. So yeah, potentially the two of you could tie the nut. And, and it kind of feels like this person had a major crush on you back when the two of you used to hang out. Right? The Six of Wands is a card of victory, success. Perhaps this person, this King of Pentacles, is very successful now. Right? And they're going to tell you just what kind of uh, achievements they've uh, reached in their life. And uh, back in the day, by the way, the Six of Wands used to be called the Proposal card. So that could be a, a proposal since it's in the potential outcome. And uh, the Ace of Cups is here, right next to the Six of Wands. It's all about love. Right? Genuine, authentic love with that Ace of Cups. And uh, the star right next to the deck would be uh, an Aquarius you're dealing with, but the star is a card of a wish come true. Um, this is something people usually wish for or hope for for a very long time. I wouldn't be surprised if this person um, is, on, is on the level they're at in terms of their financial situation, in terms of their job, perhaps they even run their own business. I wouldn't be surprised if they did it so they could come back and impress you. <laughs> Not necessarily, but I wouldn't be surprised. Perhaps you are their wish. You were their wish come true all these years with the with the star card, and now their wish is finally granted. But it feels like it's 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 a wish come true for both of you. You know, I do see you happy with this person. Um, the ten of cups on the bottom of the deck is like a cherry on top, the icing on this cake. Um, it's a family card. It's the happily ever after card. It's a commitment or marriage card. So we do have. The Sun, which is the happiest card in the deck, and we have the Ten of Cups, which is the happily ever after. So yeah, what a surprise. Who knew? 
Taurus, right? <laughs> I'm not even going to do an extended for you, Taurus, because that would be a waste of time. Really happy for you. Congratulations. Taurus, if you are already married, or if you are in a relationship, this prayer is for you. We have the Five of Cups, the High Priestess, the Six of Swords, clarified by the Wheel of Fortune, and we also have the Ten of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. This feels bittersweet. Let me give you an example. It's like, you know that you outgrew your existing apartment or your existing house, and uh, you need to move, right? But at the same time, you really love <laughs> this apartment. Or you really love this house, but you know it's time for you to move on. For, for both of you, or per, perhaps for the whole family, because now you have children, and uh, there's just not enough room, right? And uh, you're moving on, and uh, I'm sure you like your new place, but it still feels very bittersweet, you know, nostalgic even. All right, perhaps for some of you, um, either you or your your person, your significant other got a job which requires for you, for both of you to relocate and that's why you're moving, okay? But there's definitely some kind of a forward movement and there's definitely something that's being left behind, <laughs> okay? Yeah, the Five of Cups, the first card that came out, this is that bittersweet um, feeling, right? Uh, the High Priestess, the next card over is the card of your intuition, right? Your intuition is telling you that yes, you have to relocate, yes, you have to move forward, and uh, that's what you're doing in the uh, Six of Swords, clarified by the Wheel of Fortune. Both of those two cards could be literally moving cards, right? Literally moving. All right, and um, the Ten of Pentacles right next to the deck, it's a card of your family or commitment, or the Ten of Pentacles is a card of real estate. Okay, so yeah, Time to go. All right? Cool. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Taurus, this week. Keep in mind, it doesn't have to be the most recent X. We have the Seven of Wands, the Four of Cups, the Five of Swords, clarified by the King of Swords, and uh, we also have the Nine of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. You know, th sometimes the universe just wants to make sure that we understand uh, that certain things should be done a certain way, <laughs> okay? <laughs> and I think it's one of those cases, one of those times. This is a, a one big, giant, fat no <laughs> when it comes to this King of Swords, right? Uh, so yeah, the King of Swords could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, and uh, we have the Seven of Wands, the Four of Cups, the Five of Swords. All those three cards are talking about you resisting this person, you rejecting them, you shutting them down, you slamming the door into this person's face. It's like there's no other way to interpret this other than saying this is a big fat no. Okay, and the Nine of Swords on the bottom of the deck, all the way to your head. I, I think that's their energy. Perhaps they didn't expect such a treatment. Okay. But, um, yeah, you're not having it with this person. Zero, you know, zero. <laughs> you're not taking prisoners. All right, so, yeah, uh, the King of Swords could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but uh, there's absolutely no way. All right, cool. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, Taurus, this week. We have uh, the Page of Wands, clarified by the Three of Cups. We have Judgment. We have the Nine of Pentacles, and we also have uh, the High Priestess on the bottom of the deck. You're going to be hearing from somebody. Somebody wants to catch up with you, reunite with you, um, but I would question their motives, Taurus. Especially if you just recently succeeded, if you just recently got promoted and everybody knows about it, you just updated your LinkedIn page, um, or this person just knows that you recently got to a certain point. And it kind of feels like for some of you, they just, uh, that's exactly why they're reaching out to you, because they want to be, I don't know, <laughs> cool by association, or they want to use your connections, or they want to, you know, pick your brain, perhaps uh, steal your ideas, I don't know. I would, I don't really, see, I would question this person's motives, that's pretty much it, right? The page of once the first card I came out, there is a message coming from somebody. The Three of Cups clarifying it. Uh, they want to reunite with you, perhaps they want to take you out, or they just want to grab a cold one after work, right? Judgment in the middle is a card of somebody coming back from the past. So you definitely know this person. The High Priestess on the bottom of the deck is a card of your own intuition, and it's also a card of, a card of something hidden. So perhaps, again, they're not telling you the whole truth, they're not telling you the, the real reason why they're showing up. 
And uh, you're the person in the Nine of Pentacles right next to the deck. And it's one of the best cards when it, when it comes to work, business, and finances, right? The person in the Nine of Pentacles is self-sufficient, somebody who is doing great financially, somebody who is in the center of attention, in the spotlight, right? Somebody who is just doing good. And uh, it kind of feels like that's why they're reaching out to you. All right, so, yeah. I would listen to what they have to say, but I would be... Uh, I guess careful. All right, cool. Let's see what you're not expecting to happen uh, this week, Taurus. We have the Queen of Swords, uh, the Six of Wands, the Ten of Cups, and the Three of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Well, you could be dealing with an um, Air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. What you're not expecting is this Queen of Swords either uh, getting engaged or getting married this week. Yep. I don't know what your relationship or what your affiliation with this Queen of Swords is, but uh, it's uh, they're here. <laughs> so again, it could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. The six of ones, the next card over is a card of a proposal or it's a card of feeling good about yourself, feeling good about what's going on. It's a victory card. The Ten of Cups right next to the deck is a card of a family, commitment, marriage. And uh, the Three of Cups um, on the bottom of the deck is a card of a celebration. Okay, so yeah, the only way for me to... There's actually two ways. If you are related to this person, then it could be like a family reunion, right? Then perhaps you haven't seen this person in a while and you're going to be really happy to see them. But I think for most of you, uh, it's simply this Queen of Swords uh, getting married at some point in the future or perhaps even this week. All right, so yeah, that's what I have for you, Taurus, for this reading, for this week. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And other than that, Taurus, have an amazing week.